Cool. Um, well, here we have something different check this altogether. Out. It's it's <laughs> the big monster. Um, the history behind this, there's actually two bases that were built at the same time. There's a 36 inch scale, it's a blue base that's featured on uh, my Facebook page and so forth and I also built this one as a secondary uh, unit that's actually 35 inch scale. So uh, virtually identical in, in the construction methods. The other one was, had uh, walnut in the back of it so it was a lot heavier than this one. This is an alder, alder back and it's got a highly figured maple top on the thing, it's a bolt on. Uh, 35 inch scale and I forget, I think it's around about sort of, uh, I want to say 56 <coughs> or 57 up here. So quite a, a, quite a, a wide spacing here and quite a wide spacing here. It's 19 mil across uh, at, at the bridge there, but I can tell you at the top here, it's actually four inches wide. So that's 10 centimeters. Now that was- That's four inches. That's four inches wide. It is, <laughs> it is, it is. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. Probably a little bit beyond that, but it, at that point there, which is big. It's a really big yeah, thing. Now the client- Yeah, inches of that. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> shh, shh. Um, uh, don't give the game away like that. So the other, so it mimics, the, the scale and size of the fretboard on this thing mimics um, what I did on the other base. So the other base had certain specific um, dimensions and so forth that was uh, required. So I re replicated with that, uh, with this one here. The body itself is set up with a bit of a, a chamber up in here. Uh, it's a little bit of a feature. You don't really get a lot acoustically out of that so type thing. So it's all solid. Apart so it's all solid, 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 solid apart from there. And obviously the, the, there's a big control cavity. cavity that yep. sits in behind that yep. thing there. The pickups in this thing are uh, aero uh, pickups and they're a custom wound uh, giant six string P-Base pickup. So at the time, no other ma other manufacturers were mm. actually building a six-string P-Base. Some are now, which is a, a, a beautiful thing. Aguilar, I think, are doing that type of thing now. But it's a beautiful uh, pickup, that particular type of uh, pickup. It works really, really nicely. And what's the cap on them? That is Macassar Ebony, as is the the bridge piece. Yeah, let's talk about this. And funny. also the, the, the tail piece in there as well. So what sits inside the tail piece is there's actually another plate, a big three mil thick plate of brass, brass that yeah. actually the, the, the ball ends hook into and this is a uh, what I call a semi floating bridge in that it can be unpinned it's actually screwed to the top but uh, it can be unpinned and you can shift it around it has a um, uh, bone saddle in through okay. here that's been uh, positioned and then notched to bring it into correct intonation so the thing actually does intonate correctly mm. it's a it's a semi-permanent type of <coughs> setup but you can actually tweak it a little <coughs> bit if you had to and essentially it would work if it, even if it wasn't screwed on it would still stay in place right oh it would do yeah the yeah. pressure that's sitting down on it, I, the reason why I, I pinned it like that and put screws into it you don't want someone knocking it and changing sort of, it or changing a string to your strings off yeah you don't want that moving around, no. <laughs> so uh, that that isn't a good thing to have that sort of thing but it does this thing does actually contribute a lot to the clarity of the mm. sound that, that comes off this instrument. And it has an Aguilar two band um, in it. Cool. And um, yeah, so take it away. You can have it. Um, so and that, the switch? Sorry. That would be down, should be active. Yep, yep down is active. All right. And then treble bass. Treble bass, yes. Cool. Let's see. Six string. Uh, It's actually much more playable than it looks. Yeah, well, um, it, it hasn't got a very thick neck. It's actually, yeah. it's fairly finely carved yeah. in the back there. So, it's, although it's wide this way, it's not deep. Um, it has a plethora of graphite. It's a single action, uh, single truss rod, but there's a lot of graphite in there. There's, there's more than just a couple of rods sitting inside okay, this yeah. thing and they, they fan out inside it. Um, you might want to try it in passive mode. So if yeah. you flick it up in the passive mode, yeah. um,
20 inch radius on the neck and small fret wire again so the banjo style fret wire mm. uh, means everything's sort of compact and it's a, as you would feel it's a pretty low action on that thing yeah it's it, not it, it's not sitting up at all it's, it's definitely so it's not hard to, yeah. to really get it yeah. happening it's just uh getting used to the grand scale of things and and, and getting around mm. that, that type of thing yeah so it's a bit of a um a bit of a flagship this type of thing uh yeah cool very nice all right so these are just a few examples of um david's amazing bases which these are all for sale they all get tags on them oh they do yeah yeah so if you like what you see get in touch excellent thanks man Cheers.